This is Talk About Topeka on Gab Local TV and TV25. This episode brought to you by Field of Greens and The Break Room. And here's your host, Chris Schultz. Welcome to the studio, folks and friends. Thank you so much for tuning in here on TV25 for Talk About Topeka. I'm Chris Schultz, and of course, in our booth, we have the illustrious Frank Schultz. And I'm just wondering when you're going to give me the $20. You said you were going to pay me for saying that you were illustrious. So. Well, you know, it's uh, not going to happen So because I'm broke. <laughs> I'm just broke. That's all with, there is to it. With all of the tens and tens of dollars you make working around here, boy, I'm surprised. Tens and tens of pennies That's around true. here That's is what I like make, it. yes. Yeah. Anyway, okay, well, I noticed you have got a very, you are not wearing the protocol shirt here for the show, of course. Well, wh why not? I don't know what you're talking about. You must have accidentally I, mixed it up with that Kansas City Royals championship. That's that it. Yes, I got this at opening day of uh, at the K. You went out to the K last I week. I did. Yeah. Yes. And how was it? Was it good times? It was a blast. We tailgated from one o'clock until the game started at seven thirty, and I'm telling you, um, went in for the game. Had great seats in the in the uh, the special brew area. We had great seats, like you know, spread out. Game was amazing. They won on Sunday, didn't win on Tuesday, but you know, it's early in the season. I had special box seats in my living room. Um, cost me nothing. <laughs> yeah. So it was good times. Uh, you, but you didn't watch the game though, so that's okay. Well, of course I did. It was a good game. Oh, well, what were you watching for? For the cheerleaders or for the Star Spangled Banner or what? Move around, Frank. Just, just keep going. Well, I had to watch the game on Tuesday because last year on um, um, opening day they did the, the raising of the flag, flag ceremony and they did the ring ceremony all in one game and this year they split it into two games and sold 37,000 tickets to so two games instead of one. They had the raising of the rings. Was Frodo there? Frodo? Well, who's Frodo? Lord I don't of the know. Rings. That never mind. Yeah. It's a Lord of the Never mind. I got it. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, this last week I went to the Safe Streets Coalition meeting. I want to give a shout out to uh, my friend Sparky Edwards. Uh, he's a police officer over at the VA. He won the Champion of Character uh, Award this uh, month, so good job, Sparky. Uh, good job, indeed. Uh, and uh, it was just a great meeting. Um, we spoke to the folks at Vallejo, and they talked a little bit about uh, substance abuse and you know the, what's entitled there. It's just interesting to hear people's stories when they speak about what's going on. Such a great meeting. I'd recommend anybody to uh, to check it out. It's the first Wednesday of the month. It's over lunchtime over at the Great Overland Station. If you're interested in checking that out, come down and see us. Uh, it's always a good time. And there's a campaign that Safe Streets is running, the Give a Hoot campaign. Have you seen these in your Facebook feed, Frank? Give a hoot. Am I going to have to create a new uh, new voice for a new mascot? <laughs> you did, that. You did the, the Monty, what was his name? Mortimer P. Uh, Wintergreen was. Oh, his yes, name. it was. It oh, was. Oh, oh, I just gave <laughs> you, it away. You gave it away. I just <laughs> gave it away. Oh, no. I don't know if anyone knew that that was me or uh, not. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was our, our Safe Streets holiday tips that we did. But they have the Give a Hoot campaign. They put some uh, interesting tips out there. It's kind of fun. So find Safe Streets Coalition on Facebook. Be sure to like their page, and you'll find those little tips when they pop up there. So that's pretty cool, too. Um, we've got the Topeka Jazz Workshop concert coming up uh, this weekend, the 17th, at the Ramada. It's uh, the last one of the season. The ninth concert and of the year. And they're announcing next season. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all it's kinds of good. fun stuff coming up. This concert is Stan Kessler's uh, Kansas City Jazz All-Stars. So that's going to be great. We have a lot of really incredible musicians around this area. Um, so come out and check us out. I, I believe there's you can get a ticket, I think, for 25 bucks or something. or I don't remember what it is it, uh, to come out and see us if you want to check it out that day. And then also to find out about what the season's going to be for next year. And you can even sign up for next year's membership. So do that. Come and see us. And uh, we're going to take a real quick break. Uh, one more thing I want to plug in. The Drunkard's coming back. We talked about it. It's coming back to the break room. So that'll you'll have more details coming up about that on the show as we progress. But it's going to be, what, in June, July? Is that right, Frank? We're picking the dates right now. It's going to be sometime in June, sometime in July. We're, we haven't decided on the exact dates. We're talking to the cast, getting that taken care of. But, but it's coming in. It's so, coming. So we're going to do that. So don't go away. We have a great show for you tonight here. We're going to be talking about the Capitol Building, taking a tour of it. Don't go away. <laughs> 